Part 2 Stepping in the Magic by Jill Edwards A Summary of the Basis of Befriending our basic self The first essential if we are to harmonize our inner selves is to befriend our basic self. Once it feels loved and respected, the basic self is usually eager to learn and grow. But we need to speak its language, as we would with a small child. There are seven principles to bear in mind. 1. Motivation The basic self is motivated by a need for survival and security and desire for pleasure. Whatever you wish to create or change, think of reasons which will appeal to your basic self. For example, if you want to move house and you are struggling to do so, make the idea fun. Draw a picture of it. Talk to yourself about how better it will feel and be for you to make that move. Give yourself plenty of reasons that it will be fun and more beneficial to make the move and all the new friends you're going to meet. Such things like this appeals to the base itself and get it more activated to work with you instead of working against you. You make the idea fun and it feels like it's working with you to achieve that. 2. Emotions A telltale sign that the base itself is not in harmony is when we ask for help, guidance, healing, success, or an opportunity, and yet we don't feel anything. Without the base itself, we feel rather, quote-unquote, dead inside just going through the motions. If we pray or use affirmations from our conscious self alone, we're wasting our time. We have to get the basic self involved with any request, and the request has to be heartfelt. There is a feeling of love, desire, enthusiasm, excitement, energy, and power when the basic self is involved. 3. Imaginary The basic self thinks mostly in images and symbols rather than words, unlike the conscious self. It doesn't distinguish between real or imaginary. It treats whatever it experiences as real, whether it's happening in real time or in your mind. The joy of this is that we can rehearse any situation in our minds, seeing the outcome that we desire and our basic self will believe it has already happened. The more vividly we imagine it, the more strongly the basic self gets the message. If the basic self believes we already have done it, it will do whatever it can to repeat that success. The base itself doesn't distinguish between past, present, or future. It lives in the eternal now. The disadvantage of this is that if we have a vivid memory of the past that is highly charged, it can still create problems, even if it's 10, 20, 50 years later. Because to the base itself, it only happened yesterday. However, the advantage of this is that we can heal the past in the present by giving the highly charged memory a different result. The basic self will accept that and reprogram itself to free us up in the present and for our future. 4. Deep Breathing and Relaxation Whenever we relax 
we shift our awareness from the narrow focus of the conscious self and make space for the basic self and our higher self to speak to us through emotions, images, intuitive flashes, words, memories, and sensations. Anything that encourages us to relax and breathe deeply, such as walking, gardening, inner journeys, yoga, will keep us in touch with our basic self. It is important to relax and feel your basic self and listen to this voice so that you can work with it to make your dreams come true and to program the life that you want. Five, repetition. The basic self is a slow learner and needs plenty of repetition. Affirmations can work miracles, but only if we use them persistently and regularly until our basic self finally gets the message. Since it is a creature of habit, the basic self tends to resist change at first. But once a new habit is established, it usually sticks in place. Since it is childlike, the basic self is also impressed by authority. So it is wise to speak what you want with authority, and that would get the attention of your basic self. Or read books of someone that you regard is of an authority upon the things in which you want or are interested in. This will also engage your basic self. It will reinsure our basic self that our ideas are not so crazy after all. 6. Action and Ritual The basic self is much more impressed by action than thoughts. By using our physical body, by taking action, we build a bridge between the inner world and the outer world, and we are open ourselves up for change. Whatever you wish to do, it is crucial to take action, however small, however symbolic, to tell your basic self that you are serious, which is one of the main reasons in religious rituals shame, rituals, or any spiritual practice, there are rituals, there are actions taken, whether it be dance, lighting candles, or perhaps singing a song. These things are geared to engage all of ourselves so that our prayers and requests get through to the universal divine. Last but not least, seven. Living with joy. When we live in harmony with our basic selves, our days are filled with plenty of fun. What is more, we will take the opportunity to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, successes. It is worth asking yourself what is fun and celebration to you and whether you are living with joy. If not, you are not being a good parent to your basic self. You are confirming the belief that it doesn't deserve to have fun, that life is hard work, that fun is only an occasional treat and it must be earned. So, if you want to live in harmony with your basic self, create more fun in your life. And this will make your basic self feel worthy and deserving. Its fears and doubts will diminish. Childhood wounds will begin to heal and it will make life wondrous and miracles will happen for you. I hope you enjoy this and enjoy a wonderful life. Thank you.